He is one of only two Hoosiers to fight in three wars. Yeah, in a very grateful state today, he got a chance to say thank you. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Rader with Robert Hyatt's story from the State House. Chair hands down House Concurrent Resolution Number 2, honoring Robert Hyatt. 89-year-old Robert Hyatt has a rare distinction. He's a veteran of World War II, Korea, and Vietnam, one of only two Hoosiers to serve in three different wars. He made a comment years ago that when he come home from World War II, people bought him coffee and drinks and, 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 and everything, and, 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 just, and then he come home from Korea, and nobody seemed to want to talk about it, you know? And then when he come home from Vietnam, of course, they were spat on and hated. Monday was a very different story. He was given standing ovations in the House and the Senate, presented with the Sagamore of the Wabash. I asked him afterwards why he decided to serve as a medic in three wars, and the answer was succinct. If I was in good health, I'd, be, I'd still be in the uh, military. You'd still be there? That's right. But at 89, his health is failing. He's now one of 33,893 World War II veterans who are still with us. I asked him about the soldiers he served with in all three wars. Fantastic. It was hard work with you boys. Hyatt was shot in the leg during World War II, stabbed during his service in Korea. He's clearly not used to all this attention that was heaped his way today, but his son David remembered an incident on a recent Veterans Day when a group of veterans noticed his World War II hat. As we got up, and every one of them stood up just straight as an arrow and saluted my father, and he turned and looked at me with, with, with tears in his eyes and said, look, we're heroes again. I about said it all right there, you know. I'm, I'm very proud of my father. So is the entire state of Indiana. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. And of course, all of our veterans. Well, the Franklin resident says he's not sure what he will do with all of those awards that he received today, but his family says they will help him find a place for them.